vinyl community, YouTube viewers, and just welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. This is um, a response video to Grecian Thunder's space, space walker, space rocker thread, and walking song. What, I pr what I'm going to present to you now, Mr. Andreas, is Heaven's End by the English rock group known as Loop. Recorded in 1987. Was it? No. Uh, released in November 1987. And I know you like the heavy stuff, Mr. Andreas. You've expressed your fondness for uh, Hawkwind, and well, I could have picked a few others, but I just said, why not Luke? I don't hear many people talking about Luke in this VC community, so I thought, well, hey, why not? Why not have him it? It's a, it's a great first album. It represents represents Loop. You know, it's, a, it's a good starting point to discover their music. The music really doesn't change that much over the course of their three or four albums that they release. But all of their albums are well worth checking out. Kind of have a... Um, they sound like a, a Stooges doing space rock sound, and you even compare them to the telescopes. Anyway, um, what am I going to say? Let me look at my notes here. Um, yeah, like I said, uh, Loop released like three or four other albums before disbanding in 1991, and the group leader, Robert Hansen, uh, went off and formed Maine. We have a Maine CD somewhere in here. Pop it in. Interesting translucent packaging. This is a really good album too. I don't know if you'd be able to find any of this the two EPs that are collected on this CD, but it's called Hydra Calm. Really excellent ambient and rock elements on this one. The other members went and formed Hair and Skin Trading Company, and I don't think I have the CD in my, in my pile here, unfortunately. But um, anyway, this is their first album. It's a great album. Uh, check it out. And I have a quote from Mr. Sonic Boom from Spaceman 3 about, about Luke. And it's rather unflattering. It's a rather unflattering commentary about them, but I thought I'd share it with you anyway because I, I found it kind of funny and interesting. Yeah, they really ripped us off. Their first releases, their sound, their live shows, just about everything. Their first gigs were supporting us. The first time they had acid, we gave it to them. Then they started calling themselves Loop. The first album was alright, but nothing we hadn't done already. And this is, uh, that quote was taken from uh, uh, Lime Lizard magazine in uh, May of 1989. I think, yeah, May 1989. Um, anyway, very repetitive, but pretty awesome. Awesome, gnarly, grudgy, not grungy, grudgy rock. Well, here it is, another day. And like I said, Andreas, I am having some major technical issues trying to get this uh, thread response going to your, uh, to your video. Uh, 
contest. Anyway, um, I just wanted to talk about walking songs now. I, you know, I don't, I, I don't really have a particularly favorite song that I like to walk to. Um, there are genres that I like to listen to them if I'm walking around town or around the neighborhood. Uh, rock steady dub. Um, some electronic music. Uh, modern, modern pop groups like Broadcast and I don't know, but uh, one genre or one artist I really like to uh, walk around and listen to, especially in the rain, is um, one that you can maybe hear in the background. It goes by the name of Burial, and this is a this is a EP he released last year called Street Halo. Hyperdub label. The song we're listening to right now is uh, NYC. The thing I like about Burial is that he's just got kind of a moist, wet sound, and he seems like all his music lends itself perfectly to a, a rainy day. remember the beginning of the video, I played uh, a record by a group called Goblin, and um, it's the soundtrack to the movie Suspiria. And the track that I played was uh, Black Forest. Some inner cover. Suspiria is about witches, the school of witches. Directed by, the movie is directed by Dario Argento and it came out in 1977. Well, anyway, you, you asked uh, kind of like a, a song that uh, a song that would be the theme to uh, some sort of revenge. Actually, the whole album I'd probably pick, but um, uh, Black Forest is like kind of creepy and jazzy and funky. It's got a lot of uh, Moog synthesizers and funk basses going on. Um, anyway, I hope that is able to answer your questions. Anyway, my name is Paul 23 Josh, and if you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them down below. Anyway, um, hope you're all having a nice day, and catch you later.